Hey guys, what's up? It's Justin from Ultimate Baseball Training. Today we're gonna to be talking about a couple hitting drills that you can do to increase your power, right? Everybody wants to hit more home runs, everybody wants a little bit more power, and I think that these two different things are really, really going to help you out. So the very first one, you don't need a ball or a tee or really anything besides a baseball bat for this one, but we're gonna work on firing our hips. So I have the, the, the plate and the tee here just kind of for reference. Um, but what you're going to do is you're actually going to just put the put the bat behind your back like this Okay, so you see it's kind of just interlocked behind my back and what we're going to do You can have a plate there if you'd like But what we're going to do is we're going to just go through our normal load and stride and our normal progression So load stride and when we get here We're going to work on firing our hips as fast as possible because the quicker that you're able to do that move right there Obviously the more bat speed you're going to generate the more power you're going to have so that's the very first little drill and you know it might sound too simple it might sound too easy you might be thinking you know is this really really going to help me increase my power and the answer is yes if you continue to work on it on a consistent basis that's really the key so i would recommend doing you know 50 of these before or after practice but do it every single day if you just do it once a week it's not going to have that big of an effect but if you do it every single day it's really going to help you take your hitting to the next level so i'm going to demonstrate it just one more time that behind like this Load stride, boom, boom, just like that. And that's gonna definitely help out with your power. The next thing uh, is I highly recommend that you get a deflated basketball or a deflated soccer ball. I know I have those all around my house. You probably do too. And the key for this drill is you want to either put it on a tee or have somebody soft toss or front toss it to you. But the reason why we're not using a baseball for this, the reason why we're using a deflated basketball or a softball is because with a, with a heavier object like that, when you get to the point of contact, if you just stop or you, you know, roll your wrists over and it's a really weak position, you're not going to be able to hit that ball with any authority and it's actually probably going to sting your hands and hurt a little bit. So what this is going to really teach you is to be able to get to that contact point and continue to drive through the ball with authority. And again, you can do this on the batting tee or you can do it soft toss or front toss. Uh, and another thing that you can do is you can mix in a real ball with that. So if you're on a tee right here and you have a couple of these uh, deflated basketballs or soccer balls, um, then what you're gonna wanna do is hit one regular baseball and then put the deflated ball on there and hit that and then go back to a regular baseball. So you're really working on uh, driving through, okay? So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Uh, it, I, once again, you just have to do it consistently and you're gonna definitely see improvements in your power. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and you'll automatically be notified whenever we release new videos. We're releasing videos on everything baseball every single week. So hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.